2 Downstream Key and Luma Key setting. How to set up subtitles using the Downstream Key feature. From the CG500 Supply SDI Key and Fill Signals to the HS2800 Rear Panel Input Channels. Note, use the last two inputs for the key and fill cables so they are presented next to each other to the HS2800 multi-view. Set these inputs to HD-SDI using the inputs standard and format menu option. Looking at the HS2800 multi-view, the key signal should be a black and white image. The fill signal is a color image. Choose DSK settings from the HS2800 menu. Select Titles 1 or Titles 2. Now, change the title setting to Alpha Channel Mode, A-CH Mode. On the HS2800 keyboard, hold down the lower Preview DSK1 Titles 1 button, and at the same time choose the key source channel from the preset row, then release. Now, press the upper program DSK1 button to see the CG overlay on top of the current program video. The CG overlay key layer is not affected by the video T-bar or transition effects. Luma Key Connect a computer DVI output to input channel 4 or 8 using a DVI-D to HDMI cable. Using the HS2800 menu option Inputs Standard and Format, set this input to HDMI mode. Extend the computer desktop display to send it into the HS2800. Check that the computer's display is shown on the HS2800 multi-view. Prepare a character generator or PowerPoint text file. Use DSK settings from the HS2800 menu. Select Titles 1. Now change the Titles 1 setting to the Luma Key mode. On the HS2800 keyboard, hold down the lower preview DSK1 Titles 1 button and at the same time choose the computer source channel from the preset row and then release. Now press the upper program DSK1 button to see the Luma key overlay on top of the current program video. The Luma key layer is not affected by the video T-bar or transition effects. Use the DSK settings from the HS2800 menu and select Titles 1. Now change the Luma key level to improve the overlay result. To turn off the titles, deactivate the DSK1 or DSK2 buttons. <laughs>